pesos que dicen que no tengo AC, sí, sí tengo. Lo único que no, que está jodido en la troca es el pinche Windows. Pero other than that, it's good. The AC full blasting. Este va a ser un videito diferente porque voy a estar hablando de mi troca. So we're going to be talking about pretty much about the setup of the truck, what the truck has and stuff like that. So if you want to know, I've been getting a lot of questions about the truck, you know. Hey, what's done to it? What's the setup? Who built it? Uh, what gears do you have? What star do you have? And stuff like that, you know. So I'm going to be explaining in a minute everything that's done to the truck. Weight reduction wise, tires, drop, and pretty much everything that I have on the truck and let me know what you think comment down below if i'm missing something or if you if you would like to know more about the truck or the stuff that i miss just let me know so we're gonna start with the truck la troca is on uh 2011 lt single cap came with a 6l80 transmission it's a flex fuel truck i don't have pretty much the truck is not gutted all the way just missing the seats the center console on the seat. Other than that, the, the truck is a stock. Pretty much, I've been taking care of the truck and the- Why the fuck you lying? But as you can see, I need a, a new window tint. I've been slacking on the on the details, as in like, to look nice, because I wanted to focus on, on performance, you know? So now that I got the truck where I wanted to be at, which is running badass, um, making power and everything, I'm gonna be focusing on the little things that is missing. Like, okay, so the, the, the headlights, you know, I'm gonna be putting some new headlights. Also, I'm gonna be um, gutting the truck all the way, which is, I'm gonna be buying doors, some new doors, probably black or the same color. But this is a red, I mean, I don't see a lot of trucks the same color as mine. So I'm gonna be buying new, new, new doors, taking everything out, the 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 window the door panels everything and i'm gonna I'm put pexi glass and everything i i've been hearing a lot of people that have been saving like about a uh, hundred um a hundred pounds so we're gonna see how it goes so first of all the truck is drop it has a four six drop four in the front six in the back it has bass traction bars that my homeboy george uh el las puso el las ajustó y todo el pedo El drop key lo hizo el, el Chucky, si bien me acuerdo. I don't even got a relocation shocks or nothing. Como dice el compadre, puro shocks del Walmart. This is pretty much my 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 rear end. El, el, el diferencial me lo hizo um, triple X. Me lo hizo triple X. Me puso un posse unit, el más mamalón que puedas encontrar. También me puso los gears. I have 373 gears. And the transmission is a uh, 6080. It came factory like that. As you can see, I'm missing a un, un espejo because last time we were racing and, and somehow that thing broke. I guess I was going too fast. <laughs> yeah, boy. That's but anyways, I'm gonna be opening the hood so y'all can check it out. Under the hood, that's where things start getting fancy. So I have a 62 block that my homeboy George Hernandez built. He opened it up, he struck it out into a 419 stroker. I got aftermarket heads, Frankenstein heads. The engine bay is a little bit dirty, but yeah, I got aftermarket heads, M311 heads. Those heads, uh, I've been seeing a lot of boosted guys been running them heads, but uh, I wanted to try it out for all motor. I wanted to try it out for our motor and I shaped the heads as 45 millesimas to get a 65 cc's on the heads. So that put me up to 11.8 compression, static compression. This throttle body is a 112 Nick Williams throttle body, which is fucking huge. I poured it myself, the Holly intake. They come standard 105 millimeters, but I poured it to match the 112 the intake this is a five inch intake which is fucking huge a lot of people say a lot of people were telling me that i overkill uh, i was overkilling it but the truck is, is running badass so that's what it matters 
So I have to cut cut the little um, the support that goes over here, and I have to cut more shit, pretty much all those things. And this is just hanging over there, which is, you know, some people don't like it, but I mean, as long as it, as long as that thing fit, that works for me. I have a nit nitrous express kit, which is kind of like a fugger type of thing. This is there. It's almost done. The nitrous kit is almost done, but it's not. It's not there yet. You know, I still gotta. I still gotta put pills on the things. I still gotta put. Make sure the truck has an oil cash can because the oil cash can that I have, look at this shit. It's not big enough for my for my compression and stuff like that. You know. I have some speed engineering headers, one and seven eighths. They've been working good for me. I have true duels, which matters whenever you have a stroker remember guys you you sucking out this all this air in and with some badass heads man you you need to let that air go out some people say it doesn't matter if you're going from the one three quarters to the one seven eight doesn't matter but for me bigger is always better well sometimes you know sometimes as you can see i got a standalone fuel cell over here ready so whenever i spray nitrous it's gonna be ready uh, i got an under dry pulley and the belt well obviously the belt and the ac you have to get the proper length on the belt and the ac as well i have a tranny cooler because whenever you racing man the, the the transmission they get hot so i have a tranny cooler and also i got a fan next to it which is whenever I turn the truck on, it turns on and by itself and everything. So that's pretty much it for the motor. The transmission, the La Transmisión was built by Peewee Perform Performance here in Houston. The, sh the motor was built by George Hernandez here in Houston. And the rear end was built by Triple X here in Houston as well. Uh, the stall, I got a stall, Circle D stall, 3200 stall, it's, it's really tight, you know. They spec me this stall, so whenever I run nitrous, it's gonna run, it's gonna hit badass, but I know for a fact, if I go bigger in a stall, I can knock off some time all motor, you know. But I'ma try it out, I'ma try it out, like how it is with nitrous. If it works badass, I'ma leave it like that. If it doesn't work, or I can get, I can shave off some time at the track. I'm gonna be changing stars. Pretty much, that's that's the only thing I can do. You know, I mean, I can I can get faster by bumping the shot, but I don't think so. I'm just gonna stay like this, how it is. So we're gonna be booming back to the the rear end. Like I say, I got 373 gears. The transmission is a 6080. It's it's kind of hard to find those trucks with this type of transmissions because it has six gears. You know. I think that's what is helping me in top end, that my truck doesn't slow down on top end compared to the 4L, 4L, 4L60s. The truck, it is running re really, really hard. And for the people that is wondering, you know, like it's, it's on nitrous, it is not on nitrous. I do have a nitrous kit on, but it's not. Para la gente que piensa que yo estoy en nitro, nada. La, la troca está puro motor. Cuando, si tú sigues el canal, Cuando la vaya a tunear con nitro, vas, te vas a dar cuenta que la troca está puro puro motor por ahorita. Pero cuando la vaya a tunear, la voy a poner un video en el dyno. And you're gonna see the difference. My plan is to spray a 250 shot and make close to 900 horsepower. That's my plan. But we'll see how she likes the nitrous. Maybe we can go up. If she doesn't like the nitrous, we're gonna go down. But I'm really, I'm look, I'm really looking forward to that video and that day which is going to be soon so stay tuned for more for the people that wonder how it sounds uh, idle 